Todd Esmond here for winners and whiners. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And hopefully we're going to celebrate Valentine's, well, the day after Valentine's Day, because this is when the picks are for, with uh, some ducats. All right, one for one in my last hockey pick. Yay. I went on a bit of a downward trend for a while, but picking back up. So let's talk a little hockey. One of the things that I have not done a lot of is live betting, but there is something with, with hockey, which I uh, have been watching and have done fairly well with recently, which is I'm watching all the hockey games at once because what I'm looking for is when a team that is highly favored Let's say they're minus 250 or higher on the uh, money line. If they get scored on early, their odds drop to like minus 100 or will even go positive sometimes, plus 135 or something, if they get scored on a couple of times early in the game. Now, if a really good hockey team gets a couple goals put up on them early, well, you know, if you're going to give me plus points and it was minus to start the game, I mean, hockey's a game of three periods. If a team goes down early in the first period and you're going to it give me instantly way better odds to bet on that better team, yeah, I'm going to take it. So just a strategy to look out for. Um, if you're interested in live betting, uh, a lot of places offer it. Uh, make sure you're doing it where it's legal. Okay, Detroit Red Wings, Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Rogers Arena, uh, this is uh, taking place in Rogers Arena, Vancouver, British Columbia on the 15th. Now, the Red Wings are plus 135. The Canucks are minus 165. The Wings have not been doing terrible as they do most years. Uh, they're 27, 19, and 6. The Canucks are doing very well, 36, 12, and 6. Last time out, uh, the Red Wings took a beating 8 to 4. And, uh, the Oilers kind of had their number all night, obviously. Um, Vancouver played the lowly Blackhawks, which was a pick that I had. And uh, they won four to two, covered minus one and a half. Now, the uh, Red Wings, actually, though, though they lost the Oilers, it's just their second loss in five games. So they've been sort of picking up. And then you have, since the All-Star break, you've got the Canucks at 3-1-1. One, one. They Their one loss was to the Boston Bruins. Uh, no embarrassment there. I mean, the Bruins are a really, really strong hockey team. Um, the Red Wings, their goalie gave up a bunch of bad goals in, in that 8-4 to four loss. He might get benched in favor of the backup. The backup is... Uh, Huso, 9-5 and 2, but his save percentage is less than 900. He is not a great goalie. So you either have a goalie who just got shelled and who knows where his confidence is, or you have a goalie coming in uh, for the Red Wings that is just not very, very good. The Canucks are 18-4 and 2 on home ice. There isn't a great deal of value in this, but I don't see any other way to go. Um except you can go mining line minus 185. There's not great value there. The other play on this is you can take the Red Wings plus some money knowing that they have had the Canucks number. So I think I would lean plus one and a half here uh, to the Red Wings in this one. I'm Lyle Esmond for Winners and Winers trying to make you a better better.